Well, it's here. October 1st, Michigan opener. I worked last night, so I wasn't able to hunt this morning. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's raining. We do have some blue skies this way, but uh, it's opening day. I gotta get out there. My goal for the 2020 season, I'd like to get um, two, possibly three deer with my bow. I'd like to get a, a buck with my bow. Um, I would like to get the majority of my deer kills this year with a bow. Uh, I will be making one trip out of state. I do have uh, plans to hunt in New York, upstate New York. I've never hunted in New York before. I've never hunted big timber like New York. So this will be a new experience for me. Got a little break in the rain. It just quit. Uh, there is uh, some dark clouds over there, but there's some blue clouds behind it. So I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to get out there and get set up. So we'll see you in the tree. All right. Well, we finally got set up in the tree. That took me a little longer than I was hoping. A little rusty from last year. I'm really rusty from last year. My bow's still on the ground. My bow's still on the ground. My bow's still on the ground. And I forgot my boots and I'm hunting in my tennis shoes. So I'm hunting in the tree hopper recon. It's a uh, super comfortable sling. I have an SD card down in my camera. It's only 3.30 now. It gets dark uh, right around 7. I was thinking about jumping down and pulling the card so while I'm sitting here I can at least see what's been in the area. I checked the wind in here multiple times on the drive here and then once I got to the parking area we're supposed to have a wind out of the west-southwest. I don't know if that's kind of shifted the winds around, but the wind's going the wrong way. I'm expecting deer to come from that way. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm contemplating getting down, trying to find another spot or hunting from the ground. The wind is swirling. That other hunter just walked through here. So his wind is gonna be blowing in the direction I'm expecting the deer to come from. I found a, a meg shift ground blind right on the edge of the field on my way in. It's probably about 100 yards away from where I'm at. I checked my SD card and it's been wiped clean. I have zero pictures and I checked the batteries before I left and it has it has power. So I have a feeling somebody's been in here and with that other hunter over here and that ground blind right up here and my SD card cleared. I had 81 pictures on it the last time I was out here. So I'd have time to possibly pack up, get to the truck, and get to another spot. Or maybe I just sit tight. Not the best first sit of the season. Alright, well I decided to stay put. The weather's gotten a little bit better. And my wind has gotten a little better. It's now going in the direction it was supposed to be. Tonight I'm willing to shoot a buck or a doe. It doesn't matter. Our freezer's empty. And my wife really wants some deer steaks. It's starting to get dark in the woods already. It's 6.45 now. The sunset is 7.18, I think. The winds are terrible. They're just kind of swirling. I keep throwing milkweed and it's going in every direction. I'm bound to determine to have a, a good positive attitude. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little better weather conditions and I'll be able to try another spot. Alright, well I'm just getting down and heading out, but 
I just had something happen that I've never had happen before. I just dropped my bow from up in the saddle. I've never done that. 30 plus years of deer hunting. So I'm gonna have to get home and take a few shots down in the basement just to make sure nothing's damaged. It landed on the quiver. Anyway, that's just uh, the way my opening day is gone. It's just a young deer, but we need some deer meat. That first shot. I should have held it a little lower. I think she uh, she just ducked the arrow. I still have a deer over here walking around. I think it's a different deer. Yeah, I got a deer right here. About 40 yards. Well, I got blood and hair on the arrow, and it uh, tore off the uh, tore off the blazer veins. The deer came in at about 8:24. 
I was texting with my wife, that's how I know, just after 9 o'clock now. So it's been about 30 minutes now. I'm just going to slowly pack my stuff up and uh, take my time, get down, and just try to track the deer real easy. I think I heard a crash. Like I said, it's just a yearling doe, but um, we've been out of deer meat for a while and really been looking to get a deer in the freezer. So I was hoping I would see a big mature doe behind those two yearlings. One looked like a button buck. The one I shot looked like the doe. And I ranged her at 21 yards. Anyway, um, my wind is going straight to my left. Those deer almost came into my wind and I was concerned um, about 10 more yards and they would have been right where uh, the wind is blowing. Hopefully we got good blood so I'm gonna take my time, pack up real slow and get down and see what we can find. All right well it's been over an hour. I just got down. I'm gonna walk over start looking for blood. So it was a complete pass through. It was probably about 12 inches stuck in the dirt so Well, that didn't take long. The deer's right here. I can see the tree that I sat in, and the deer's laying right there. Oh man, it's a button buck. There were two. I didn't know it was two button bucks. I saw the one was a button, so I didn't want to shoot that one. So I shot this one. I didn't even see it was a button buck. Ah, oh, I hate that. That's the exit right there. Right there's the entry. It's not huge, but it'll be good eating. Now I'm gonna scale back and only shoot uh, a mature doe or a, a decent buck. All right, let's get busy. Mm -hmm. 